Welcome to Madison HD Sports Net presented by the JMU Alumni Association. I'm here with head women's volleyball coach Lauren Steinbrecher and assistant coach Window Camargo. Guys, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Kelly. Um, I just want to say I'm really excited to have Wendell here with us this morning like um, Casey was on the last show. And um, I obviously think I have the best staff in the country, um, <laughs> Casey and Wendell. <laughs> Um, and it's it's fun to kind of highlight these guys on the show. And um, Wendell's been with us for two seasons, and um, he's obviously done an exceptional job. And he's the the perfect mix of relentless work ethic, um, exceptionally high standards um, and expectations, um, as well as having like a really fun loving kind of jokester personality. So. We've definitely had a fun two years, but welcome to the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jamie, you ended the 2015 season last weekend in the CA semifinals. The Dukes closed the season with a 22 and 8 record, the program's best start since 1999, being 21 and 3 and 11 and 0 in the first round of conference play. The Dukes recorded a 14 game win streak for the first time since 1997. What are your guys' overall thoughts on the season? Uh, what a fun season for sure. The, the quality of people we got to work with and um, the level of their execution and, um, and just the things they accomplished was tremendous. You know, they set records from before when they were born, you know, in the 80s. And so, uh, but great, great group of people. They worked hard. It started in January uh, with the returners throughout the summer. We brought in our fantastic five uh, in the freshman class. But they worked their butts off, and they uh, put themselves in a position to be their best. And um, yeah, it, it was a great season. It was fun season. Yeah, like we have a great class. The freshmen came in and jumped in the team really well. I think they fit pretty well in the team. Absolutely. And what was was awesome to see how the seniors lead this team and how the freshmen respond well to get uh, how to say that word to be led to be led to be led mm -hmm. from from the seniors. So it was was easy to work with. It was a great season. Mm -hmm. One of, one of the best senior classes we've had. Yes. Um, between the four of them with um, Sarah Niski, Sierra, and, and Jacqueline Plaha. Yeah. Um, and and because of what they did, the team was united and was able to accomplish a lot. Even that we have just uh, two captains. I think the older seniors, Absolutely. Jacqueline, that didn't play a lot based on injuries, and Sierra, who contributed a lot on the on the court and outside the court. Mm -hmm. So was we had just two captains, but I feel like we have four captains almost all the time. Yes, because they are really Without close the class, and they help each other pretty well mm -hmm. and complement each other personalities yeah. and, and um, strengths and such. And on top of such a successful season, some players took some good CA honors, including you, coach named Co-Coach of the Year. So congratulations to you Thank and your you. staff. And Jamie Congrats took Player of the Year for Janie Goodman. And then Megan Niski and Sarah Patterson were named to second team all CA as Sierra Hanventrell took all academic honors. What does this have to say about the success of these players individually? Absolutely. You, you know, you hope at the end of – um, someone's career, their senior year, they're playing their best volleyball. Um, and that's absolutely the case with Sarah Niski and Sierra. And, um, you know, if we start with Sierra, uh, we were talking about her yesterday with our academic yeah. advisor, Terrence. What, a, what an amazing person. She's got almost 200 credit hours, so she double majored in engineering and business. Um, but then what she contributed on the court, um, specifically in practice as well as in match time, yeah, was she, huge. She, she was leading also the community service. We, yeah. I'm the responsible. She was a great, awesome help. Like she did mm -hmm. almost everything by herself. Mm -hmm. and what a leader. In, in, like Lauren said, just uh, what a leader. Uh, outside the court we had, after we lost Megan, we had a tough game against Hofstra. Mm -hmm. And then after we, we played with Hofstra, I found out through Sarah that they, Sierra started a conversation about how we're going to turn this on, and they yeah. came out awesome, and we won that game. Yep. So Sierra had a lot. She was, I guess, key player in a lot of games. Yeah. With her run serve, she has an awesome serve. And so, preparing our passers for the toughest serves we yeah. would see in conference. Every day in the court was, yeah, she would contribute a lot. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, obviously Megan Niski. Wow. I mean, she had a four-year starter for us, and she was absolutely playing the best volleyball of her career her senior season. And, you know, our second leading attacker, um, one of our best passers, the anchor passing yeah. um, defensively. I, I would say that she was our most consistent volleyball player mm -hmm. and our best volleyball player overall. She could attack, she could pass, she mm -hmm. could dig, she Lead. could serve. She, she led pretty well. Mm -hmm. It was a, a good balance between her and Sarah Patterson. Mm -hmm. And a true competitor, too. Yes. She always sure. put the team in front of everything. Yeah. But she always think first about everybody and then after her. Yeah. And then Sarah. Well. <laughs> you know Sarah well. 
Sarah is uh, a fun person. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> she always had her big smile on the face. Uh, she was big part. She was responsible for a big part of our offense mm -hmm. su success. Yeah. She and when I say that, not just setting, but calm down the team because yes. I guess when people get in stress moments, they always look for her. And sometimes she give positive words, and sometimes she just give a smile, and that's enough for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. She she is easy to work. She always and when I got here it was hard to work with her because <laughs> she didn't like me really well. But then we get a good <laughs> That's relationship. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> but like, she was different, and <laughs> she adapts pretty well. She accepts pretty well things, and I was challenging her every. Uh, we were challenging her every day, mm -hmm. and she responded pretty well. She, I, I have the feeling that she always gave everything that she could, and she tried to. She finished well. Mm -hmm. was a good senior year. And the things that she was doing as a senior setting, you know, being yeah. able to read the defense, the offense, and, and to have attackers all needing a different set mm -hmm. uh, is very high level. So. Yeah, it was, it was awesome to have a chance to ask her to change uh, one feet or, uh, I don't know, one, one hand. One foot, yeah. One, yeah. Foot, one foot of difference between sets, and she was able to make that change really quickly. Yeah. That was nice to see. And then, you know, obviously, we, I don't think we have to talk too much about Janie because she's just been stellar for yeah. us all year. And um, what a high-level athlete and player. And obviously getting the Player of the Year award this year, very well-deserved. Mm -hmm. First time since, you yeah. know, like in 15 years. And, um, and you know, I think if, when I look back on Janie's season, I think there was one weekend where she wasn't exceptional. Um, and to, to have a whole season where you only have like one weekend where you're slightly off, wow, like I wish I did that and, and, <laughs> when and, I played. And we listen to that, uh, we listen to uh, people, other coaches say the same thing, that mm -hmm. they wish they had a uh, Jane Godman on, on their team because mm -hmm. she can take from ev anywhere yeah. to everywhere. And it's just incredible what she can do it. Yeah, back row attack, sometimes I'd be like, wait, was that front row or back row? Yes. Because, I mean, she's just so, so elite. Yes, she, she, she'll have a, I, I can't wait to see her senior year. Yeah. And I thought she grew a lot this year on kind of the more mental side of the game and, um, yeah. and, and, that, sure. and that way. Because she's always been physically dominating. And, and this was her first year playing six rotation. Yeah, yeah. And it's she serving. She oh. serves, she, di she dug. Uh, sometimes she step up and pass a couple balls. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she it, it's easy to talk about her. <laughs> <laughs> and before you change the question, since you talk about the co-coach co of the year, I also would like to say how easy it is to work with Lauren. And people, the players in special, sometimes they think she's just a hardcore and go hard. But who works with her and every day knows how much you care about each player. And... I, and I think based on that, that players start feel and see uh, that was the result that we got because she cared about the players. The players start to feel that, and they do everything they can do it for her and f for the team. So, Thanks good job, Bill. coach. <laughs> Thanks, I, I really think that. That's why I want to say. <laughs> And the Dukes also hosted the CA tournament for the first time since 2002. What was it like to host the conference championships? Well, I'm here just for two <laughs> seasons, and... For me, it was awesome. First of all, because I think our gym is the perfect size of yeah. our gym. Mm -hmm. It's not small. It's not too big. It's a medium size that's comfortable to play. Who played volleyball? I guess that's the size everybody is wants to play. Mm -hmm. And we have it's the floor. best floor <laughs> yeah. of the world that even the middles want to just dive in for diving. Like, <laughs> you don't have to even to dig the ball. Just go. So for me, it was awesome experience. Jamie did a great job. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I was going to mention. I thought, you know, the the administration here, they're, they're top-notch, and they always mm -hmm. put on – everything they do is first class. And, you know, Parker Jacobs running the tournament and Ty and Scott and facilities. Um, obviously, I think we have the best sport administrator in the country with Jeff Polglaze, uh, who was tremendous with that. But, you know, Kelly, yourself with information. And just, just everybody came together and really, really, really uh, put on a nice tournament and represented the university very well. And even Michelle, our administrative assistant, yes. put together beautiful gift baskets and – um, and just want to, we want to thank everybody for um, everything they did to put on such a great event. And then this was a very successful season for JMU, as we've talked about. But what some were some of your favorite moments as coaches, whether they would be on the court or off the court? This is a fun question. Yes. I, I, will, <laughs> I will start with the preseason. All yeah, the team oh, bonus definitely. that we did. Uh, we 
We went to camping, <laughs> went to canoeing, and those was awesome moments. We're laughing because as a coaching staff, <laughs> we, we plan all these activities. We want them to be memorable, and we just try to think of the craziest things we can do to mess with them and make yeah. them memorable. And so camping, we, we hit a home run, for sure, with mm -hmm. camping. And then we, we rented out a pool house. Yeah, we had a pool house. Um, and that was fun just to relax and hang out with each other and <laughs> try and, to throw each other in the pool. And, and, and no better the players because in those moments, you see exactly – who they are because yeah. in the court they are just focus and work and work and when yeah. they are there they have fun they say things that it's like oh you say that really it's like so <laughs> or really I think the girls just say that to Wendell you say that really <laughs> <laughs> yeah sometimes I come with the different words <laughs> uh, yeah that I mean that was a blast and then um, I think another highlight would definitely be winning both of our home preseason tournaments yes I don't definitely. remember the last time we did that uh, maybe 2010 but. and after our one of our tournaments we played Florida which mm -hmm. I think that was a awesome experience for everybody. It definitely was. And, you know, we were up 11-0 on them and took them extra mm -hmm. points. At that time, they were a top-four team in the country, and the crowd was awesome. Our fans yeah. were great. And um, and it was neat, too, because after the match, Mary Wise, who's been coaching forever and, and is a legend in the sport, mm -hmm. um, you know, came up and said that, that we were an NCAA tournament team, and that obviously uh, meant a lot to us and, and uh, helped shape our season. Yeah. And then looking ahead, what is it like in these next few months preparing for the 2016 season? It's a lot of talk, I would say, is watch a lot of videos to see, to try to catch the details that sometimes you cannot see in, in the real game, so we can mm -hmm. see where we can improve even more. And when I say a lot of talk, talk between us and talk with other coaches, change ideas mm -hmm. uh, according with the team that we have. How can we get better? Yes. You know, our, our season, our season with, that culminates with the CA tournament in 2016 starts for our returning players in January. Obviously, it's already started with us, you know, a few days after the last tournament. You're thinking, okay, what can we do? How can we get better? And um, we have a ton of key pieces back. Obviously, we lose our setter. Um, and then, obviously, Megan and, and a lot of leadership um, with Sierra and Jacqueline as well. But we have a lot returning. We're really excited about the players that we have coming in next year. And, um, you know, as always, we want to try to take the program to another level. Yeah. And even our last year, I guess, of course, start to prepare for the next year. Mm -hmm. Just because we have freshmen on the court, that mm -hmm. this year will do even better. And we had a lot of freshmen get significant yeah. playing time mm -hmm. with, obviously, Taylor Gale and Bryn Recker. And right. Um, and Jackie Cable. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, the exciting thing, too, is Kelly Vajos, who redshirted um, last year for us, was in the gym yesterday getting extra reps, getting better. Um, you know, and today I know Janie's coming in. A lot of people are coming in next weekend. And, and we're already preparing um, to be our best in a year from now. And that's fun to have a group that's committed and excited to be in the gym. Yeah. Well, Lauren and Wendell, congrats on such a great season, and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you.